Sun and liftoff of Discovery, hoisting harmony to the heavens. Hello everyone, today we are taking a look at how SpaceX managed to capture such incredible launch footage. Rocket launch footage is quite a difficult and very important task. This process consists of a combination of installing cameras and tracking a rocket moving thousands of miles per hour. However, this same footage provides many of us with a great view of each aspect of the launch. If you have been watching some of SpaceX's recent Falcon 9 launches, you may have seen some unique footage. On January 31st around one week ago, SpaceX launched another Falcon 9 a part of the Cosmos Sky Med second generation FM2 mission. This launch was similar to many others, with the exception of the incredible camera footage, while the Falcon 9 was ascending, separating, and more. SpaceX managed to do this with a powerful ground camera, accurate tracking, great weather, and more. All of which helped provide an accurate and smooth angle on the Falcon 9. This footage is extremely unique and a great addition to the launch process. It provided one-of-a-kind views through the ascent process, MECO, fairing separation, and much more. SpaceX is known for providing great camera angles on each part of the launch, however, this mission stood out as something very special. During a rocket launch, there are a lot of important events throughout practically the entire process. This especially is the case with launch vehicles such as the Falcon 9, thanks to the addition of boost backburns, the booster landing, and more. Over the past few years, SpaceX has worked to provide and improve camera views throughout this launch process. From all this experience and testing it's obvious they have gotten very good. Whether this is drone ship footage while the booster is landing, stage separation, or even fairing separation, it's consistently high speed and quality. However, the most common video we see of different aspects throughout the launch is usually provided from cameras attached to the rocket itself. These still provide an incredible view, but SpaceX recently outdid themselves. On January 31st, SpaceX live streamed the launch of a Falcon 9 a part of the Cosmos Sky Med mission. The main difference between this mission compared to others was obvious only a few minutes after launch. As the Falcon 9 continued to accelerate to thousands of miles per hour, SpaceX provided a unique view that tracked the rocket. This was unlike anything we had seen before and managed to get even better as the launch went on. One of the first benefits of this view was Miko. Here we saw the Falcon 9 main engine cut off around 70 kilometers in altitude. Right after Miko was stage separation between the first and second stage. Here the camera provided a view of not only the stages separating, but the flip and maneuvers of the booster right after. Specifically, the booster began flipping itself slowly right after separation, however, this camera view also showed the upper stage lighting its engine, and the effect it had on the booster. Here you can see it accelerate the booster's flip, and also slightly char the booster as well. In addition, as the upper stage lit its engine the camera was accurate enough to even show the stiffener ring be ejected and spin away. Almost a few minutes after separation, this camera provided another one-of-a-kind view of fairing separation from outside the upper stage. Lastly, as the booster continued back towards the surface, we were provided with a final view of it descending and landing smoothly. Now that I have highlighted some of the incredible views this camera provided, it brings up the question of how exactly did SpaceX do it. While there are quite a few unknowns related to the camera itself, we do know some of the techniques and factors that are related. First of all, this is a ground camera, as the name suggests the camera is positioned on the ground. This helps highlight how powerful and accurate it is. At the time of Miko, stage separation, and even fairing separation, the Falcon 9 ranges between 70 and 130 kilometers high. The ground camera capturing these views has a very powerful magnification in order to get close-ups during the launch. Not only is the Falcon 9 very high up, but it's also traveling extremely fast. Specifically, at Miko it's going just under 6,000 kilometers per hour. This suggests that rather than a human tracking the rocket, it's computer-based. However, in the past NASA has shown complex tracking systems used during that space shuttle launches operated by humans. Either way, this is how SpaceX was able to consistently track the Falcon 9 and its upper stage for multiple minutes. While it's not perfect and there are a few moments where it loses the rocket, it was mostly accurate. It's also important to point out that other factors such as weather played a key role in the footage. If there was practically any cloud cover at all none of these views would be possible with a ground camera, no matter how powerful. These are just some of the physical factors helping capture such unique footage. In addition to the camera location, magnification, and tracking, SpaceX did some additional things to improve the footage. SpaceX released a video highlighting the camera view titled Cosmos Sky Met Tracking Footage. Looking at the footage, you may have noticed that it was slowed down quite a bit. It can be hard to tell if you are not focusing on the speed, but SpaceX did change it. It gives a better and more clear view as the stage is separate, and the booster flips its direction. This video is about 0.4 times the speed of the regular footage. Once slowed down different stages of the launch such as fairing separation, provide an ever-before-seen view of the Falcon 9. 
Here the two fairings separate and slowly fall away from the upper stage before eventually landing in the ocean. Focusing on this footage there is one final interesting aspect to talk about. As I mentioned prior there are a few moments while tracking the launch where the camera gets a bit off track. In addition to this, the footage is mostly very accurate but is not stabilized during the launch. After being provided with the footage many people edited it themselves and provided a stabilized view of the same footage. This keeps the rocket at the very center of the screen and stabilizes it. With the overlay, it slightly gets in the way, but the highlight is the Falcon 9 itself. It's possible SpaceX could do this in the future, and continue to improve the viewing experience for each Falcon 9, Heavy, and even Starship launch. Conclusion Rocket launches are fascinating, but at the same time extremely difficult to capture and provide good footage of. Companies such as SpaceX have improved over time, and are known for providing great views through each stage of the launch process. Recently, they outdid themselves with a ground camera view of the Falcon 9 Cosmos SkyMet mission. Here an extremely powerful ground camera, accurate tracking, and good weather, help provide a third-person view of Miko, stage separation, fairing separation, and more. All of which help make this launch stand out from others before it. We will have to wait and see if SpaceX continues to use and improve this technology, and provide incredible views of each upcoming launch. Thank you very much for watching.